This is probably the strangest story you've ever heard. It's about two little men who live out in space. That's us, Lidmicron! <laughs> now, that's Omicron. He's from the planet Venus. And his name is Nudnikron. He's from Jupiter. And no one can understand the way they talk over there. And the Sputnik. We call them satellites. Yes, well, a Sputnik is a satellite. Now, the Sputnik is from still another planet. One we call Earth. One day, not so long ago, when no one was looking, Omicron and Nudnikron landed their tiny rocket ship on our planet Earth. They'd been sent here from space on an important secret mission. The first thing we have to do is find out where the Sputnik is. You see, Nudnikron, we know on Venus that these Earthlings are going to shoot this thing into the sky almost to space. If they do that, it will stay there and spin round and round their planet just as their moon does. Oh, my God. Look at look at look at oh, oh, yes, here comes the Gertling. Now, this should be funny, since Omicron is only the size of a soda pop bottle and the Nudnikron is shaped like a small orange egg. Stop where you are, Earthling! <laughs> oh, dear. The grass is talking to me. <laughs> no, no. No, no, no. Why, no. <laughs> it's not the grass at all. It's a little orange egg. <laughs> Earthling, where is the Sputnik? Sputnik, Smutnik. Oh, I better get myself some new glasses. Oh. Come back here. <laughs> oh, 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 Nudnikron was not seriously hurt, so they continued to search the Earth for the Sputnik. After looking high and low for days, they'd almost given up. Then, as they were flying low over cold, snowy mountains on the other side of our world... Nudnikron! Nudnikron, look down there! There you go! Ow, ow, ow. That's a rocket! It's about to be shot into space! Down we go! And down they went. Omicron and the Nutnikron tiptoed into the laboratory where the scientists were getting ready the last piece to go into the rocket. Come on, let's hide inside this round metal ball here. Mr. Gilly Cow. We can watch them work through this little window and they won't see us. <laughs> oh, now, now, Igor. The Sputnik is ready. Oh, <laughs> good, boss. Close the door and we will put it into the rocket. Oh. All righty, boss. Ludnikron, <laughs> we're locked in. This is the Sputnik. Mary, you're a and before they knew what had happened, they were hoisted into the air, dropped in the nose of the rocket, and on their way into outer space. Now, of course, going into outer space was nothing new to Omicron and Nudnikron, but being locked tight inside a Sputnik was. Lola France, Omicron! Nervigar! Now, don't worry, Nudnikron. I'll get this door open in a little while, and we can jump. Our space parachutes will get us back to Earth all right. Lobophilio, yellow, yellow. Oh, the only thing I worry about is a wreck with one of our space ships. So look. You go near that window over there and shout like a horn. Beep, beep. Yes, that's the way, and we'll warn any ships nearby, okay? Beep, beep. Yes, start now. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. And beep, back beep. on Earth, as the beep, anxious beep. scientists listened to the Sputnik on the radio, what did they hear? Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. By, beep, beep. by Igor. It's ending cold. Yeah. yeah. 
But you and I know better now. It wasn't cold at all. It was... Omicron and not Omicron. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>